Hello, welcome to another tutorial video. This time we're back on Smile Points, this time for the poem Sing Song. A uh, very interesting poem. So we start off with the structure then, and it's got very irregular form, and all the way through we find that the stanzas are actually different verses, different lengths, uh, different indentations, etc, etc, etc. And all of this is to do with reflecting the fact that this person doesn't really fit in, um, not only in terms of culturally yeah, within England obviously uh, he's not fulfilling the stereotype expected and also he's not fulfilling the stereotype expected of his father uh, and neither does his wife fulfill perhaps some of his old uh, own old stereotypes but obviously he's very happy with the, the way she is um, we've also got struck difference in the way that the wife's lines are actually indented again just showing how strange she is to him even though he's in a strange world and it's not necessarily strange in a negative way it's just you know there's all these things that actually surprise him and we'll look at some of the contrasts in that a later on uh, we've got the refrain as well used in the structure here um, here with hey sing ve sorry just that part hey sing ve you bin and then a little later on again hey sing ve you bin and again it's just talking about the um, uh, humorously referencing um, how people actually refer to him or how people in the uh, in the area kind of look and refer to him uh, commenting on the state of his shop um, also we've got the ending couplets in the structure so all the way through you can see we've got these uh, standards of different lengths and then towards the end we've just got these uh, couplets uh, all the way across four couplets and actually they're a lot more unified and they're a lot more excuse me balanced um, and feeling kind of more of a regular scheme or an expected scheme um, even though the the last words don't uh, change simply because again that could be a limitation of language but in those couplets there is actually a reflection of uh, you know just that in this part where they're talking to each other they're very balanced they're very even and obviously it shows us that their love and relationship and marriage is strong um, and also in the structure we have a tone change from the start to the second half so again it's all kind of very um, you know there's wordplay and it's all light-hearted and the beginning and then when we get to the midnight hour you know when everyone the <clears throat> when the last people who are making a uh, comment on him and obviously from his father and the people around him all these different voices that are actually coming in we have here kind of his own reflections and you know he talks out to the shoppers and then just this last part is a lot more serious and a lot more balanced and probably the most um stereotypically poetic um then in 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 terms of the actual subject matter uh, or the connotations or association should i say sorry that go with poetry um on to meaning then where well, we've got the expectations and the stereotypes so obviously he's got this expectation and stereotype you know he's going to work in a in a corner shop and obviously there's a stereotype for uh, for an Asian immigrant coming over obviously Punjabi so we can presume he comes from a part of India um, sorry the language used is Punjabi so we can presume it's he's coming over from part of India um, obviously the amount of hours that he's actually going to work a, a day, a day uh, 12 hours a day 7 days a week etc again the expectations as well of um, the, the people uh, in terms of the actual shop uh, you know, expecting what he's actually going to have uh, and the actual kind of cleanliness and the actual items that he's actually going to have for them in the shop. Uh, we've also obviously got the stereotypes thrown on the head uh, with regards to, you know, this, uh, this uh, his wife, you know, is completely different um, in the way that she uh, goes about things in terms, especially with the relationship towards his parents, which obviously culturally is of huge, huge, huge importance um, respecting parents, obviously her disrespecting them. And that could be, um, as we'll kind of move on to it now actually i'll just do this one first it could be actually something to do with culture assimilation and, and modernizing obviously stereotypically then it's uh, a lot more or, or, or people in england or at least in britain where we presume this is set are a lot more um free in the discourse that they can have with their parents in terms of answering back etc um and again you could go into a whole type of stereotypes but again i'd just be open up a kettle of fish and uh i'd just say two words uh, russell peters um moving on to the marriage and love we've got some really nice uh kind of just demonstrations of the marriage and love here obviously in the things that they actually share uh, right at the beginning and obviously he says that she's his new bride and um Obviously, they have intimacy in their relationship, and uh, we are rowing. We are rowing through Putney, which is uh, interesting, obviously, because it could be the place, obviously, that they are in South uh, West London, or it could also be, also in Punjabi actually means wife. So, obviously, it's a play on words there. We've also got the kind of the marriage and love stress just uh, across down here, where they actually, you know, he's just very sweet to her, and he says that you know you're priceless and you're worth more than, to me than the moon, etc., etc., etc. We've also got his self assurance and pride where he is 
doing what he wants to do you know he's still got this you know when his dad's not around he actually turns around he locks the door so he can actually go upstairs and spend some time he goes upstairs and spend some time with his wife he says here i uh, what well, his wife sorry um, i do do look and also we've got the idea here where people are actually um saying this to him first time uh, when i refer refer from when i return from being upstairs you know the shoppers cry out hey where you been and then they actually complain that the stop the shop sorry is in quite disarray but he doesn't really care you know that's that's not really a problem to him he he, do, he doesn't actually say anything about wanting to change it or wanting to improve or wanting to better himself again he just kind of goes between um in between both kind of comments made by the other shoppers you know to talking about his wife and how how special she is obviously in a kind of comical way first and then in a more serious way um afterwards so with the images then we're looking at what he shares with his wife and obviously we've got the cultural reference to food which is actually quite um graphic would be the wrong word but obviously it's quite clear in terms of the food they eat and obviously but they're eating it within this place in southwest london um it's the word punny could show us um so obviously it's a it's an interesting uh, mix of cultures there um probably not as interesting or as different to us nowadays because we especially in london it's very 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 such a multicultural place you know we, people probably wouldn't bat an eyelid but um if you can imagine the curry being brought to england for the first time when uh you know what long before curry was a staple diet in england uh or sorry the most popular diet in england then obviously it would probably raise a few eyebrows um as is eating with your hands which is obviously what chapatis meant you know you don't eat chapati with a knife or fork so bear that in mind as well when you're looking at the image there um we've got the wife's character so here we have her, um, you know, kind of stumbling around again, not kind of very ladylike or exquisite, you know, it's just kind of a freedom in that. And obviously the word stumble here obviously is, is a reference as well on them stumbling through, assimilating in Britain, which is actually really interesting. Um, the, excuse me, the... Um, way that yeah the way she's actually described here um she's got the eyes of a gun obviously kind of showing how um serious she can be and how deadly or lethal she can be perhaps with her tongue towards her parents but then with him you know um we've got at the tummy of a teddy you know so it's very soft reassuring warming etc so we're not sure exactly who this kind of anger is placed at with the the gun like eyes perhaps it's the parents perhaps a society that wants to judge her and again that kind of brings us back to the idea of uh, them assimilating um we've also got uh, a really interesting image of the clock in the moon which which isn't an obvious one but you could stretch it and justify it if you chose to so up here we have um we've got this idea from nine o'clock to nine o'clock and obviously the reference of o'clock gives us the idea of a clock face more than it does a digital watch um and if you just wanted to kind of say that here he's actually watching like every minute he kind of watches the hours kind of tick round until he's actually in this um you know he's completed his day's work but when that's done the other clock quote unquote they actually looks at is the moon when he actually sits and stares brightly up at the moon and uh, obviously that's kind of another circular reference to to time obviously because uh, obviously the moon signifies the length of the night in some ways but uh, here he's actually looking at it in terms of a uh, almost like a, a time outside of time you know this is the time he just spends with his wife and obviously that's referenced again he's just at this middle the only kind of reference of time he gives us from that is the midnight you know this mystical magical kind of alluring hour of time etc um so with language we've got the word play as mentioned before the play on the Punjabi word for wife in Putney and um there's a heavy stereotypical immigrant dialect uh, and the grammar all the way through so um and obviously some of it's um again I, I, every time I read the, the line I can't help but smile hey sing where you been uh, again just sounding how other immigrants um w would sound or how he's expected to sound and obviously it's really heavily kind of put in the grammar as well in terms of uh, I do D lock um, and uh, yeah, sorry. There's just so many. There's just so many different places where you can actually pick that out. So, but the point is that he's actually trying to show again how. Um, heavily different like a person's attitude can be and also he's asking you to look underneath that you know just because this person doesn't communicate in english in the most perfect way doesn't mean in any way that they don't live uh you know can't love fully or can't live fully or understand fully etc 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 so again it's asking us in that to actually uh, make a 180 degrees or you know kind of question ourselves on our own stereotypes and expectations uh we've got alliteration just towards the end if you want to pick out something more classic yeah uh, we've got the uh, the cool con and the concrete cool um basically the concrete cool there is actually just it's kind of showing the place devoid of life at night because obviously everyone's gone home no one's out shopping but also it's kind of the concrete cool is kind of like um almost like a, 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 a mausoleum or a museum you just where you know everything's just kind of calm and uh, still and that kind of helps in his 
setting of this the, the the romance that's actually in here it's it's a lot more it's a lot more it becomes a lot more than just a little shop and obviously that concrete cool that kind of the idea of the color that's coming through to us there is the grayness obviously which it would be you know would re reflect quite nicely in the silver of the uh, moon um and also in the language you've got this personal address um when he actually turns around and he actually he talks to you shoppers so basically again it shows his confidence here because he's actually speaking to them so they've been speaking to him the whole time and perhaps obviously this is performed on stage or you know he's actually like addressing the crowd directly which would be interesting but we'll just take it here from the poem you know he's actually you know he stands up for himself he doesn't go in you know after the day's work and you know kind of lament and be filled with remorse and regrets about how the day's gone you know he's actually saying well you know when you guys are gone that's when i have my best time you know i don't live to actually serve you you know i live for these moments with my wife etc so some of the effects on us then uh, what we can look at is a man trying to be himself uh, again when he stands up for himself there and obviously when he stands up to his dad and obviously when he's trying to learn things about his wife and and it's actually quite good that he kind of, kind of analyzes his wife as a person you know with all the different kind of shades and um character traits that she actually has um it tells us as well you know it make, might make us think about what goes on away from stereotypes again in terms of you know this person not being happy with their life you know maybe they didn't want to just inherit the uh, first generation kind of work till you drop mentality they they you know kind of wanted to 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 live something uh, underneath that and outside of that which is everyone's right um and obviously he's mocking everyone around him you know that could actually be really interesting because this whole thing you know it was obviously you could take it as a parody as if a guy was just making fun of everyone around him and he's making fun fun of his dad and obviously he's making fun of his parents in this part you know obviously through his wife he makes fun of how the actual um uh, how small-minded the shoppers are you know well they're just kind of picking up that you know no one actually here says well you're not the um excuse me you're not the uh you know they don't ask him how he is or you know they don't want to develop a relationship with him they just want him to serve this stereotypical function so you know that maybe that's his way of mocking them um and he you could say as well like you know one of the effects on it actually shows you that there's this man who actually he knows or is blinded by depending on which way you want to take it on how you actually want to read it he knows what's important to him and he knows it's not the shop it's not keeping you know um you know milk uh, fresh milk in the fridge uh in, ter in terms of uh who he is you know he he wants to be a good husband and he wants to be he wants to share a love with his wife and, and that's what's most important to him and um, we can see that you know he he follows that or he's just blinded by it and he uh, dismisses his responsibilities to his family and etc 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 and maybe he's looking for the short term over the long term but obviously you can actually um, develop that any which way you choose